Hello there, welcome to Wastelands Raceway. I am Kinky Weasel and today I'm going to be doing a bit of armour on this van here. Now what I'm using is just bits and pieces of scrap and crap. Just rubbish, trash bash to get textured armour plates. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be using is, we've all used tablets, medications, whatever. They come in these blister packs and the bits between the blisters have got some quite nice texture on them. Almost like diamond plate. It's not exactly like diamond plate, obviously, but it's a nice texture. So first bit, I've cut myself a scrap of this stuff from a tablet blister pack. Let's get it stuck on. Now, before I stick it on, I'm going to do a thing. And that thing I'm going to do is use a ballpoint pen and from the reverse of this panel, I'm going to just stick the ballpoint into the back. Now, the idea of this is to simulate the fact that this stuff has been riveted in place. So, here we go. I don't know if you can see it there. But it's just like four rivets, four rivet heads in the corners. Um, which I think looks alright. So let's get this let's get this glued in place. So I have already cut this to size. So the idea of this is here we go, here we go, the usual sticking super glue things to your finger. There you go. So stuck over the window. What I've done, or tried to do at least, is tried to just keep it within the confines of the door. So the idea is if anyone's actually wanting realism, you can actually open the door. The door handle's free and the edge of the door is is um, unencumbered. Unencumbered. So there you go. So that's the first bit. Um, got another bit I've cut. Um, and I've used the reverse of it this time, which will give just a very slightly different pattern. And you see I've said bonnet there because I needed to remind myself where it was going to go. So that's going to go on the front of the vehicle there. So. So. An armoured bonnet. And an armoured window. So far so good. Now, I've got this stuff as well. Now this is literally just corrugated cardboard. Um, it's, it's quite a fine corrugated cardboard. This comes from a, a gift box thing. Um, now I'm fairly lucky and as much as my wife runs her own company, which she makes marshmallows, which is, as you can imagine, quite nice for me. Um, but these were some packaging samples that she picked up. Um, she didn't use them. I looked at it and thought, hello. That's a nice corrugated pattern. So I've picked it up. Um, but this stuff does appear in things like chocolate boxes, um, gift packs, things like that. Um, sometimes they've got paper on both sides, in which case you just moisten the paper, coating one side of the corrugation um, and gently lift it off. But there you go, without any issues whatsoever. That sticks on there. At the moment, it's a piece of corrugated cardboard. When I finish painting it, it will be a piece of corrugated metal possibly even a rusty piece of corrugated metal. Using the same again, just to cover the roof hole. I've cut it to size. Now the good thing about using things like cardboard is you can actually simulate some battle damage. So I've just stuck some dinks in there like bullet holes. You can do the same on the side here. Put a bullet hole in there. Maybe a bullet hole in there, and possibly even a bullet hole there. So there you go, so when that's painted up, they will show as battle damage in the armour. Um, so that's those bits so far. There you go. Right, my next piece of um, armour that I'm going to use is this stuff. Just packaging tape that you get around. I'm, I'm not actually advertising ukpackaging.com. It's just coincidental the way that's come out on that piece of tape. But there you go. Um, other packaging suppliers are available. But it's just that stuff that 
it's really difficult to break. So I've cut a couple of pieces to the size that I want them um, and it's going to go on the back of the car, back of the van here. So I'm just going to stick some glue down and show you where it's going to go and how it's going to look. So that's the first bit. I'm just going to stick it down Sorry, there. I don't have an answer for that. Thanks Alexa. Now the dogs have gone off. Great. Um, so there you go, I just stuck it in the back there. That texture, quite interesting. At the moment it's a white bit of plastic. When it's painted, it will be a piece of solid armor plated metal protecting the rear of this, this wagon. Glue it on. Now, I just cut it just for a little bit of extra interest, just so that the lights show through so just so the light show through just to make it look like it's been deliberately done but anyway so there you go that's the next bit now this is one of my favorite little little gribbly bits this here you see it nice plastic corrugated do you know where that's from that is cut from a little milk carton you know the little milk cartons you get in coffee shops and things peel the lid off pour the pour the UHT milk in that is the side and I've cut it to fit on the back here again I've made it look like it's designed that way so the door handle is is accessible so let's stick that on the back so there you go you see that the lower part of the door is now armoured with a bit of corrugated metal to reinforce it to stop the bullets coming through or whatever. So that's those bits. Now we move on to this side. The first bit I've got to show you is this. Can you see it? If it's gonna but that is a piece of corrugated plastic. What I've done is that's cut out of the clip on a Ziploc bag, a Ziploc food bag. I saw the pattern on it when it's been thrown away. It looked nice. I thought, you know what, I'll keep that. And it's a fairly soft plastic, so it's easy to cut. What I've done, I've tried to make it so it exactly fits the window here. There you go. Fits in there. It's fairly easy to do because it's, it's so such a nice soft plastic, easy to cut. So I'm just going to glue it from behind just to try and give it some kind of security in there. Um, the background noise is one of my dogs um, playing with a squeaky toy. Um, either that or I've got some mad clown running around the garden. Um, I think it's the dog. So there you go. So that's a, a window panel um, in there. Now, I'm sure most of us recognise this, don't we? This is the front fascia off of a lateral flow COVID test. I remember doing loads and loads of tests. We've all done loads of tests. And I think to myself, it's lots of plastic. It's lots of plastic. Must be able to use it. Well, yes, you can. So, first is the little window here. I've cut it to this size and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to stick it in there. So it's like a, a kind of a recessed loophole um, in that window um, so I'll just stick me some glue in there and some glue in there and just slide it in obviously I'd measured and cut this to size before because you don't need to watch me measuring but there you go look it's a recessed kind of loophole shooty shooty hole thing um, which I think works it's kind of interesting isn't it? so that's the first use of one of these things moving on look this piece here I've cut um, this is cut from this which is 
oh, food packaging. It was a, it was a tube of crackers, I think. So yeah, just thought it looks like a nice, solid, smooth thing. So I cut it out the bottom before it was thrown away and kept it um, because it, I thought it was probably going to be a bit easier to work with than, than pure plastic card. And it turns out that it is. I've measured this and cut it to there. You can now see it. So that's uh, that's going to stick in the side there. So it has been, has been cut to size, obviously, beforehand. So um, I'm going to stick that in there as a armoured side panel for the van. Um, as you can see, it's all it's all just trash. It's all just stuff that was going to get thrown away. It's all a load of old rubbish, literally a load of old rubbish. Um, so let's stick that in there so that's now that's now in place there you, go, you can see stuck in there brings us on to the second use of this thing so the long slot now um, I've cut that to fit in here I can't remember which way around I've done it now bear with me while I mess around and work out which way up it goes I don't know which way around it goes. Let's try this way. Yep, that's going to fit in there. So I had cut the piece so that it slotted in. So stick that on the good old lateral flow loophole. So stick this in. There you go. So that's stuck in there. Again, look, you see you shoot out the side and it's all nicely armoured and everything and great. Now, so that is everything that I've got cut and prepared. Um, work out what I'm gonna do with this window. It might just well be a piece of mesh because um, that's a good old favourite. What I might do is cut a second piece of this to fit over this side so we've got a sort of shooty hole that can work um, and maybe work out something that I'm going to do in here, probably another one of these panels perhaps, just, just, to, just to fill the hole in. Um, or maybe a bit more of milk carton. Uh, but we'll see. So here we are, I've um, been just filling that, that side in. So I've done another one of the um, tablet packs and some of the corrugated um, milk carton. With that one, I've pushed some rivets in. Well, both of my pushed some rivets in, but the milk carton really has taken those rivet divots, rivet divots, <laughs> really taken them well. So that's looking good. Um, I've also got myself another slot for another lateral flow test. Now, what I had to do, because they have a bit of a sort of a a recess behind them. Um, I've had to sand it flat because otherwise, because there's no hole behind for it to, to settle into. Um, so this hole's be slightly bigger than that hole, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be black anyway. So, and I might actually stick a machine gun or two sticking out of it. Just going to do it this way around, I think. Not that it makes a lot of difference, but there you go. Um, so. What I have done is sort of sanded it around the edges a bit, just to get a bit of a radius so it's not a sort of solid sharp end. Also, it's probably worth mentioning that I did make sure that these tests were negative before I kept them and used them. Obviously, it would be a bit icky to be <laughs> using positive tests. Um, uh, but there you go, so obviously that's up to you. I'm not gonna judge. Um, so, yeah, that's all pretty much done. I think this side is looking a bit plain. So I'm going to do something with that. don't know what I'm going to do with the roof yet. I might do nothing with the roof, but maybe something like that will fit in there. And yeah, that might work. Okay. Um, yeah, let me think about that and get back to you. Okay, so 
we filled I have filled the panels in now on the side put some overlapping stuff in there just to make it look a bit ramshackle I've also stuck the end off of a lateral flow on there that was all filed to fit that, that chamfer um, it's there I don't know what purpose it serves just because it fits really um, it may be the base plate for a rocket launcher or something I don't know I don't know whatever um, but I'm just going to do something to cover up the join here just to make it look a bit more like it's supposed to be there what I'm going to use for that it's just on the piece of this imitation diamond plate. So that's going to go over there over the gaps. The armor plate in there. Yeah. So again, that just fits there. Look at that. Okay, so I've decided what I'm going to do with the window. Um, I'm going to put some mesh over it, which is not particularly original. I know that's fairly standard Gaslands fare. However, what I'm going to be using is this stuff. It's called Tweel or Tool. It's a uh, dressmaking fabric stuff, comes on a roll. We've got loads kicking around because it's left over from a project my wife was doing. Um, I used this stuff for my um, last terrain video, which was uh, making a, a mesh fence. But I'm going to try this in the window and see how it works. I'm sticking it to the bottom of the window first, trying to get it in place. And then moving on to the top, it's not working out very easily. But let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Keep trying, keep trying. Come on, weasel, keep going, keep going. Let's take some tweezers. Um, I think it's worked. It hasn't. No, it's stuck to the tweezers, which which obviously is nice if you want to stick twelve to your tweezers, but um, not ideal if you want it to armour your windscreen. Um, let's try again. I think we've gone off. So let's try again. Okay, okay. I think. Come on. Okay, you can't see that because it's too dark. I guess. Look at my finger behind. There, there's a very fine mesh in the window. It seems to have worked. Yeah, that works. That's all right. It's okay. You can see it? It's very fine little mesh. It's lovely. Not lovely, but it's perhaps getting overexcited. So there we have the finished, uh, well, not the finished article, but the armoured article. Um, every single bit of the armour on there is just trash, just bits and pieces. Um, so what I'm going to do is give it another coat of black, just black bomb it, um, and then dry brush over the armour to see what it looks like. So there we go then. Um, this is the armour after the dry brushing. So as you can see we've got the corrugated cardboard on the top with the tablet blister pack. It's looking alright. The um, the end of the lateral flow test has come out quite nice. That looks pretty good. Um, stuck a bit of let's get the pen. Stuck a bit of um, packing tape across the top there, just for a bit of armour. The hole from the lateral flow test. I think it looks all right in there. Doesn't it? That looks okay. Um, the mesh on the, the window, the, the tool. Yeah, okay, that's all right. That's quite easy to use. And we got more medication blister pack. There's the Ziploc bag thing, a few more bits and pieces, and some more um, packing tape, and there's the uh, the milk carton corrugated there. So there you go. Um, vehicle completely armoured using just bits and pieces of trash. Um, I think it looks alright, to be honest, and uh, it was all free. That's the best bit. Um, yeah, they'd all been thrown away. It's just stuff that would have been got rid of. So there you go, the vehicle is armoured. Um, quite what I'm going to do with it now, I don't know. I'll have to give it some thought. You know, because you need weapons, it's going to need wheels, etc, etc. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed doing it. Thanks for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying this stuff, then please do subscribe. Um, so you'll be able to see the other stuff we put out. Um, but that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, um, have a good day, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye-bye.